Hello, this is Eric of Notbaus Tech and Reviews, and today's video is about the MSI B650 motherboard. There's a problem I've been having for quite a while, and I decided, you know what, I need to do something after two of my viewers contact me, direct on Discord, wondering what's wrong with their BIOS. If any of you are having a problem that the BIOS is not showing using this motherboard, and if you've watched my other videos and it hasn't solved your issue, leave a comment below what problems you're having with your B6550, or if you have a different Intel board or whatnot. So let us know, is it a 7000 series, is it a B650? So everyone knows an MSI can fix their issues. Now let's show what happens so you all see for yourselves and MSI can see. I'm going to send you a video as well, your tech support team, so you can see as well. You're welcome. Now let's get started. How do these problems occur and why might you not be able to enter your BIOS anymore? Well, first of all, let's shut this down. And I'm going to enable AMD Expo. Now let's see what happens when I shut down and restart now that I entered AMD Expo. I might be able to enter the BIOS one other time, but then after that, nothing. It'll skip to Windows every single time. So we're starting again. I'm going to shut down and see if we have one more chance to enter the BIOS or if it's never going to do it ever again. And I'm sorry about this taking so long because how do I show you and how do I show MSI what I'm talking about if I don't make a video showing them what's happening rather than skipping everything. So rather than playing movie magic and skip everything, I'm trying to show everything so you can see what I mean because you might be having problems entering your BIOS and having this exact same situation. So if you didn't enter uh, AMD Expo, you probably don't have this issue. Um, I should be able to change my boot sequence, how it, what boots up and doesn't boot up, my fan speed and whatnot. And again, right now it's taking forever and a half to boot up. And now I think our BIOS is gone. It's just being really slow, really slow. No reason for this MSI. Zero reason. Did we see a BIOS screen? I don't think we did. Okay. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt that maybe the BIOS is still going to show somewhere along the lines. <laughs> okay. By the way, I'm using M.2. It's Gen 4, so this actually is a really fast storage drive. Now, once I show you the correct setting, we're going to see how fast this will boot and then the fact you'll see the Windows screen still going. But are we seeing it now? Probably not. So thank you very much. Send your complaints to MSI Tech Support. <laughs> that likes nice long boot times. So I'm not surprised that some of you watch videos on how to improve your MSI boot times because, yeah. So one of the settings you can enable in the latest BIOS, at least I found that sometimes it's giving me a blue screen. So I have to down date the BIOS to run, I'll tell you right now, memory context restore. But how do you enter that now, right? Right. How do you enter this now? What we're going to have to do is reset the freaking BIOS and wait for a few minutes for to relearn itself. And once, and once it can finally enter the BIOS again, we can change that setting. So what am I do to reset the BIOS? In my case, I have a button, or you can take the battery, or you can use the jumper. Depending on your motherboard version, I have this one, the Edge Wi-Fi that has a reset button. And now we see our BIOS screen. This is the third. Yes, the third time I rebooted my computer after I send the BIOS. Now, if I do not enable AMD Expo, I find I can basically enter the BIOS just freely. I'll see it every time, not a problem. So let's see here 
how to fix the problem. But first of all, I'll change these fans so they're not so darn loud. Now we're here at the BIOS screen. Gonna enable AMD Expo on the settings. But what I have to do is enable Memory Context Restore. At first, it's gonna boot slowly. I did a pile of changes because that's what I want. I don't want a bunch of boot devices and I want everything set just so in my BIOS. But now this should work after a very slow boot. This is eliminating the memory training every time it reboots. So it speeds up that way, but at least our BIOS won't go missing anymore. Okay, now I'm gonna shut down and reboot again. Just waiting for it to be completely off. Gonna press the power button right now. Of course, you didn't see the boot time before, but we noticed that the screen stayed black for quite some time. But let's see what happens this time. There's our bio screen, and there's our MSI thing. And let's see how long it takes for Windows to pop up. Guessing at 24 seconds, about, no, a little longer this time, still though. Okay, so we just hit about 25, 26 seconds from power button press. Let's do it again. Now what I wanna see is if the bow screen actually shows up still. Okay, gonna press the power button again right now. I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna enter the BIOS again. Okay. I'm gonna do absolutely nothing. I'm going out Exit the BIOS, quit without saving, yes. Let's see how long this is going to take now. This is another problem with MSI. Once enabled my memory context. Oh, there's our memory context restore problem with our newest BIOS. So oh, thank you, MSI. Normally also, you won't really do much of anything and it'll take forever to boot, but I guess you get one other. Either it boots right away and you get a blue screen and your computer doesn't work anymore until you reset your BIOS and again, and then downdate your BIOS. Or um, it's gonna take forever to boot. One or the other. So with the newest BIOS, I try to enter, I exit without saving. Everything was working fine. With Memory Context Restore, we got this real stupid thing with our newest BIOS. So to add insult to injury, the newest BIOS makes things even worse than before. Now I downgraded from the full BIOS of the 1.007A to the beta version of the exact same 1.007A. So this is the beta version now. Let's see what happens when I actually go into the BIOS after I've enabled Memory Context Restore and see if it does the same thing. We're now in the beta BIOS of the 1.007A. Of course, whether your B650 does this or not, I don't know. However, the beta BIOS, I haven't made any changes. Let's see if that blue screens, because as far as I've seen, the beta BIOS does not. So by fixing the slow load problem, that was actually really, really fast. Just to make sure it wasn't a coincidence that we're not getting a blue screen, I'll do the same thing. Just enter, do no changes, enter the BIOS and see if it blue screens. As far as I understand, the regular, not the beta BIOS is the problem. Oh yeah, and if you press the delete key too soon with the MSI BIOS, sometimes it'll lock you out completely. And I think it just did that because I did press the enter the BIOS button and it won't do anything. So thank you MSI for your constant little problems that you need to fix. So the computer's gonna do nothing now at all forever. There's a little green light on my little lights here on the motherboard. Maybe you're wondering about the BIOS flash button so you can actually update your BIOS without any battles trying to do so. Doesn't even matter if your CPU is not compatible with the board or you can actually use the BIOS flash button. You should see in the cards right here, as well as I'll leave another link to some useful information down here as well. This is Eric of Not BIOS Tech Reviews. 
Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day. And hopefully this problem is actually fixed while you're watching this. Today is June 15th, 2023.